Hey, this is Gary Baird with SellerEssentials.com. In this video, which is the fourth video in our series of OA X-ray videos, I want to show you how to uh, take advantage of products that might not look like deals. Um, they might not actually be deals when you first find them, but uh, they might turn into deals later. I'm going to show you how to take advantage of that using the OA X-ray tool and another tool in combination. So. I just wanted to share with you first before we get started, um, if you like this tool and it's something that you think you could use to benefit your business, uh, we have a special uh, offer uh, in combination with OA X-Ray for a free six-day trial. It's normally a three-day trial um, for signing up under our link, oaxray.com forward slash seller essentials, uh, which you can see right up here. You can get an extra three days to try it out. It gives you almost a full week free. Uh, if you like it after that, you can keep it at uh, only $99 a month, which is well worth it to me. It's something that is invaluable in my online arbitrage business now. Um, one of the things I love about OAX is it's always improving. And when we started, there were way less than uh, 54 fully supported sites. Um, and in fact, when I checked this last week, I think there were less than 54 fully supported sites. So I think it was around 48 earlier this week. Um, but they keep adding sites, and there you can see some of them are 20% matched. So Bass Pro Shops will be, you know, fully matched at some point in the near future, and they'll add all those um, that are in process to that list. And it, it just keeps growing and growing, which makes it more and more valuable because it opens up more shopping opportunities um, and eliminates the chance that every single person is going to be searching the same store um, at the same time. So uh, one of the things I like is they have some unique stores that I might not source on my own, uh, might not go to just in my normal course of shopping. And one of those is uh, Puma. And where's Puma here? There it is right there. So fully supported. And uh, you can see I already have it opened up um, because I was going to show you an example from this site today. So what I did is I just went to the sale and went to the women's section and picked shoes. And you can see they've got a variety of sections you can you can choose. And then I ran OA X-ray on this page. It's got 182 products there. And it came up with this. And I already sorted by highest ROI to lowest ROI. So this is what I like to do normally. I like to go and see, you know, which which ones are the, the best uh, buying opportunities. Uh, no sales rank on this one. 58% ROI, good sales rank on this one, and a 50% ROI with a $22 uh, profit. That's not bad. Um, take a look at that, make sure they're the same. Uh, you wanna go to the site. I like to check the variance too. We covered this a little bit in another video. I always like to check the variance because sometimes that price that's on the main page right here, that 69.15, is not always the price for every shoe, obviously. Every shoe is gonna have a slightly different price. Um, frequently. So I, I like to check the variance and you can see it opens up this variation analyzer uh, tab and then I go through and kind of get an idea of I can click on this Amazon button and see which ones are selling for more and some of them are just priced really ridiculously. Um, no idea why the this particular style the gray violet white six and a half would be 165 when everything else is in the 60 to 80 dollar range but this one's 85 which is not out of too far out of line um, with the normal price in the 60s uh, we got a 69.99 so it gives you an overview of all the different sizes and what they're selling for which is a nice little uh, feature and helps you to make some buying decisions a little bit better so, but if you're going back to the main tab, back to the point of the video, um, you're going to see some of these that are good buys, 20, almost 20 bucks, 42% ROI. That's not going to fit everybody's, you know, uh, guidelines for ROI, but uh, for a lot of shoe shop shoppers, I know if it's almost 20 bucks in profit and a 40% ROI, that would be something they would buy all day long. So you have to understand what, what your buying parameters are and, and buy accordingly. But what I like to do is I go down to the ones that, are not in my range. So I'm probably not going to buy the stuff that's in the 30, 20, and the teens uh, in that range, the percentage wise for ROI. Uh, so the 30%, the 26%, the 19%, these are kind of uh, under where I want them to be uh, ROI because shoes get returned. You've got some extra fees there if they get returned. You want to leave a little bit of cushion in there. Profit starts to drop down here to 784 instead of you know high teens or low 20s. So what I like to do in these cases, if the rank is good, and here's a, here's a good example of that here, we've got a, a thousand rank, 1100 rank, really, really strong rank in shoes, but the profit's minimal, it's $6.81. Um, 
Again, we can look at the variants and check those out and see which ones are selling for the most. And it looks like, not sure what happened there. Okay, not sure what's going on with it right now. A little glitch. Oh, there we go. Okay, not sure what happened there. But um, we've got 64.99 on top, then down to 65.59. So it looks like you know most of them are in the 45 range, 46 range, upwards to 65. Um, so you might want to check out these sizes here and see if there are any of those color size combinations in stock. But what about the ones that uh, don't quite fit your your guidelines. What are you going to do about those? Because even though the one's selling for 65, that might make your, your profit a little bit better. But what about the ones that are only selling for 44.95? Uh, like most of the shoes seem to be on the, in that particular shoe. Well, in this case, what I like to do is I like to click on the, the store price. And I like to use a tracking software. It used to be called TrackIf. Uh, now it's called My Alerts, and you can see it pops right up there. You can also click this little icon right up here at the top of the screen to open it up. Um, and you can either click Start Tracking here. Um, if I want to set the price specifically that I want to be alerted if it drops below, then I'm going to click this tab. If I don't care, if I just want to know if it ever drops in price, I'll click this tab. But in this case, I would want to know specifically if it dropped in price, you know, maybe another $10, uh, then I might be interested in it. Um, so I'm going to put here, I'm going to, these are all the stores where I track stuff. So I'm going to go to Puma. I don't think I have anything for Puma. So I'm going to create a new list and put Puma in there. I'm going to hit get price alert or price drop alert. And then to set the actual price that I want to be alerted to, I'm going to set that at $30. So I need to hit the view and list button. And then I'm going to click this little gear here. I'm going to put $30 and it's not out of stock. If something was out of stock, um, you could put, you could turn this on. It's an availability alert. It'll tell you when something's back in stock. Sometimes it's, it works well. Sometimes they'll tell you that something's back in stock when it's really not. You'll also get price drop alerts, even if the stuff is out of stock on the store site. So it's not a perfect tool, but it's certainly a a better tool than than what we had before um, so it does work and we've we've made good money using this tool so it's definitely worthwhile to uh, track stuff and there's another use for it that we'll talk about in a second um, but once I've put my price in here and made sure it's on the right list I just hit save and now I'll only get alerts if this drops below $30 I'm not gonna get an alert if it drops to $37.99 um, so the other way I like to use this is once I've tracked a bunch of shoes on on this site once I have my alerts here, I can click on my alerts. Everything I've tracked will be here by store, sorted by store. And I can go through here whenever I want to shop at a store. I can just click on the store name, whatever it is, and everything I've tracked will be listed under that uh, that specific set of tracking. Uh, and, and I can quickly see what I've tracked before, and then I can go back to the site and see if those things are any good. Um, it may be that the price has gone up on Amazon. It just makes it a little more efficient when you're searching for products to sell on a site instead of going in blind. So hopefully this video has helped you out um, a little bit. Uh, take advantage of those products that might be not quite right for you right now, but they might be if they drop a little bit in price. I use the tracking software along with OAX Ray and hopefully add some profit to your bottom line. So for more tips, tricks, and resources, go ahead and visit uh, selleressentials.com and if you want to go to the bottom right hand side of this video uh, the corner there you can subscribe to all of our videos and get notified when we send new ones out hope you have a profitable day